All right, today we're going to be talking about the new feature on the new enhancement for PowerSchool called Favorites. Favorites provides a space for organizing personal, personalized categories and frequently used pages to create workflows. And also it creates a mini dashboard. It kind of, it helps to create a private custom list of pages that you can access separately from the main navigation. So it allows you to kind of choose which pages you like um, and which pages you would like to use for your favorites just to kind of help you have a direct access to those pages. On all the pages, um, I shouldn't say all, but most pages you will see this little star right here with a plus. That is what is considered your favorite icon. Um, You'll, you'll see it on a lot of the main pages, uh, student and staff contacts. It also can be fa saved as um, on any of your custom pages that have been added. So as long as you see this little star right here, that is going to allow you to add a certain page within your favorites. To access your favorites menu, it is going to be located up here. Um, you'll notice it's going to be on this main strip and it is also going to have that star icon. I am going to start now just by navigating through my pages um, just so you can kind of look and see how it shows up on the different pages. So the pages that I'm going to look at is you'll notice over here this is different. Uh, this is just kind of, it's going to be our same icon same um, different links they're just going to show up on icons instead so i'm going to have a direct favorite to my enterprise reporting so i'm going to start by doing my data and export i'm going to click on my reports and then i'm also going to choose my enterprise reports again on this page you will see here we have that star so that is going to allow me to add it as a favorite so when I select this star here, it's going to pull up this box. This box right here is blank, as you can see, because I have not added in a new category to help me break down my different searches for my favorites. So if I was to add in a category now, what I would do is I would click on Add New Category. I'm going to call it Reports and hit the little checkbox there. So then now I see that I have the reports here. I can also add in different other categories. So these are suggested categories um, that are pulled in because of where my report enterprise reports is located. So I can have my report on two different or excuse me, my favorites on two different um, categories whenever I am searching for my favorites. So another one I would do is going to be that data and reporting. I will then hit my add pages and now it is telling me that my page has been successfully added. Again to see that favorite I would choose over here and now you should be able to see that it has been added over here on my favorites. It has been added in two different categories and so that allows me to kind of choose which one I would like to utilize. Um, and I also have that capability of, you know, having it in two different places. I don't necessarily need the one that I created, but if that helps me for like somebody who is coming in, going to take over my position, they'll know that any of my reports that I use, I will have it under this area here. All right, so after it has been successfully added, you will also notice too that my star turns blue. So that way I know that it has been added to my favorites and I can take a look at it from there. When I click on my favorites here, you'll also notice this pin. So this pin icon allows it to sit here over on the side for me. That way I don't have to keep clicking on my star icon here to pull up my favorites. I can leave it there and I can keep adding in different pages. So let's just say, you know, I wanted the health page here, all screenings. I can hit the plus here. Again, I can add a new category. I can choose health, that way I know. Or I can also choose one of these drop down ones too. So I can add it in one of my 
previous ones that I have, or I can just choose health there. Again, you don't necessarily need to make a whole new report, or excuse me, new category, but you can just choose your different ones by the drop down here. So after that, I hit add page again you'll see now these have been added to my favorites. That way I can look through and take a look at all of my different reports. I can manage my favorites by clicking here and I can drag and drop them of where I want to add them. I can also get rid of them just by clicking on those three dots, hit remove, or I can do a move to, or I can also duplicate them. I can also add in more categories if I need to. <clears throat> However, nothing of the changes that will be made on here will ever be saved until you hit save. You can also disregard your changes. So if I was to move this up here, you'll see that button there that says discard changes. <clears throat> Again, this will not be moved or changed until you hit that save button. <clears throat> You also have the capability of kind of just scrolling through, looking at all your different reports, and you can remove your favorites here just by clicking on that area there. So that's another thing. You also will notice too, all of these ones right here are available at the high school that I'm in. You can add in certain areas or certain school icons too. So for instance, if I just need my system management, let's say like I want my, um, you know, manage custom page here. If I add this one in here and choose my drop down, just under there, hit add pages. And I was to go to the high school. It still will let me click on it and it still will take me there because it is associated with the high school only. If I was to add in another one here under my system management and choose one that was only in the district office, it would not allow me to click on it um, in a different school and it would come up as kind of like a little icon saying that hey, you know, this is only for the district. And it'll also not show up as white. It'll show up in gray too. That way I know that it is available at the district office only. So it just depends on which ones you use. Um, so when you're navigating back and through, back and forth between the different schools, like I said, it'll allow you to click on these icons. However, if it is not within that school, you will not be able to click on it. So you also can add in, you know, different favorites um, just to help out everybody else when it comes to, you know, people trying to navigate through your system. If you have a new staff member, the great thing would be, you know, adding daily tasks. You could have student screens. You can customize this however you would like within your system. And again, you can always manage your favorites. You can always edit, you know, mm -hmm. rename your different favorites within your system. That way, you know, if you do have somebody new come in, you'd have it all broken down. Or if it's just for your own organization, you have it all broke down for you too. Uh, one last thing too, um, if when you guys have your favorites, one thing when you guys, when we do update plugins, the plugins will not update with your favorites. So you will have to go back in if you notice kind of like a little um, alert icon show up. So something that looks like this by one of your favorites, that means you'll have to go back in and link that page again. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. But this is how you can add your favorites. It's great. You can put it on, you know, pin it to your page. That way you don't have to navigate back through. Uh, we will be having some more videos just to kind of help out with the enhancement, but this was favorites.